hello everyone let's provide the three solutions to this problem we have 3x to the power of 3 equals 3 what do we do the first step is obvious right divide by 3 divide by 3 so that this will go and x to the power of 3 is equal to 1 Okay, because 3 over 3 will give 1, right? And now we are going to get the free solution. So this is what we should do. x to the power of 3 is equal to 1 to the power of 3. Now, if you say x should be equal to 1, you will not be wrong. But that will not be all the solutions. Now, to get all the solutions, we have x to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 equals zero so we are going to apply the standard a to the power of three minus b to the power of three equal to a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so this is what we have and now to apply this standard in place of a minus b we'll be having a We'll be having x minus 1 so x minus 1 will go there then into in place of a squared we're having x squared plus a b is x times 1 and that is x then plus b squared that will be 1 squared right so i have 1 to the power of 2 then everything is equal to 0 From here, x minus 1 into x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So from here, we are going to apply 0 product rule, equating both of them to 0, right? Because if we say that this is 0, this multiplied by this will give you 0. And if we conclude that this is equal to 0, then x minus 1 multiplied by 0 will still give 0. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. So we will say that x minus 1 is equal to 0. This means that x is equal to 0 plus 1 and x is equal to 1. So this is the first value of x and it is a real solution. Now to get the other values of x, we're going to start from here so that we get x to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 equals 0. Now, we'll apply the formula to solve this. The formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and from here what will be our a our a is 1 that is the coefficient of x squared good our b is 1 again the coefficient of x and our c is also 1 okay okay our c is equal to 1 that is the constant right now put these values into the equation rather into the formula so x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus, then we have square root of 1 squared, because b is 1. Then minus 4 times a is 1, and c is 1. The whole of this is over 2 times a, and a is also 1. To continue with this, our x is minus 1 plus or minus then we have square root of 1 minus 4 this is over 2 times 1 and it is 2 now from here x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus we have square root of negative 3 because 1 minus 3 will give us 1 minus 4 will give us minus 3 
and this is over 2. Now let's continue on the other side. Okay, so this is what we we are having. Now x now is equal to minus 1 plus or minus. We have square root of 3 multiplied by square root of negative 1. So that the whole of this is over 2. We're doing this, we're doing it this way because we cannot get the square root of negative 1. It will give you a complex solution. So we'll rather fix out the negative right so that from here x will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3 and then the square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we call it i and it's over 2. Now what do I do from here? x is now equal to minus 1 plus or minus, I want to bring this to the other side, so we have um, i square root of 3 over 2, okay, and if you want, you can equally split what we have here into 2, so that you get x to be equal to minus 1 over 2, plus or minus, we have i over 2, this is i, not 1. i over 2, we have root 3. So this becomes the value of, um, of x. But this is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's get the 3 solutions together. Our x1 is equal to 1. That is the original or the real solution. Okay. Now our x2 is from what we have over here. And it is minus 1 over 2 plus i over 2 root 3. Good. So this, this becomes our, our x2. Then x3 is also from there. And it is minus 1 over 2 negative i over 2. We have root 3. So these are the three solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching.